Joined again by Deltrin. Hey guys. More Rock the Cabinet Entries Call Up Edition 2017. So the top 10 are due to be released here in a couple days, but we are going to continue playing these until then. Relic of Twilight created by Aradius. Amon's Brood pours onto Shakuras from I are now attempting to seize an ancient weapon of the Nerezim to bombard the Spear of a Dune in orbit. You and your allies' forces must prevent the weapon weapon's misuse by disrupting its power conduits around the area, crippling it beyond repair. Okay, I will be playing Rainer. Go and carry again. Oh god, we're try here to we go again. From, what was like four <laughs> videos in a row we were playing Raider Kerrigan and we lost yes. like, all of them, I believe, or all yes. them but one. <laughs> Disrupt each of the priming power conduits in every cycle by holding them with your armies until time expires. Ensure that the Spear of a Dune is not destroyed by failure to disrupt conduits. Conduits do not require that both players be present. Okay. Interesting. So, take out and hold the conduits while also protecting the Spear of a Dune. Sounds like it. Mm -hmm. Is the Spear of a Dune, is it just like on the ground? <laughs> I suppose we'll find out. Maybe we get to use its abilities. I have a character. Oh, I think, no, we have to disrupt the conduits. If we don't, then the Spear of a Dune takes damage, it seems like. Oh, okay. I'm gonna try something different. I'm tired of this mass infantry bullshit. Make Vikings or something. I'm so pink purple. It's not even funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, yes, that's some, very bright pink. Some Pepto Bismol. <laughs> wow, that is the Zerg pour into Shakuras from Aya, and Amon seeks an old Kaderan void emitter to unleash upon the sphere of a dune. The void emitter draws power from the region's conduits in cycles. Your forces must hold a position on each priming conduit, disrupting the transfer of energy. Bolster your armies and prepare to move as soon as possible. The Spear of a Dune must not be harmed. Okay, so the Spear of a Dune could take five hits. Okay, so lose. I assume there's only one power conduit in the first cycle. Right. That would be one damage. Later on, there's going to be two, three, presumably mm -hmm. four. Yep. Interesting. And our base is free to take. There is interesting, there's a barrier instead of rocks. I guess because we're on Shakur's. Cool. Oh, nice. I like the look of this More map so far. Mm -hmm. I like the Shakura's tile set. Not enough mm -hmm. minerals. We the voice I acting mean, is nice. I was, I was thinking, I'm like, when has it been used? Temple of the Past, right? But it's nice that we're not. It's a not a holdout mission. Yeah, this is a little different. It has a darker look to it than Temple mm -hmm. of the Past. Zero of twelve conduits remaining. Not enough minerals. So it's not just going to be one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a, a few extras here or there, I suppose. Yeah. Next one, next round, there might be two that pop up. We need more minerals. Who knows? We'll see. We've been pleasantly surprised. We require in most cases. Yes. Whoa, the health bar of these of the barriers. Interesting. Oh yeah. That's different. No super early enemy attack. I think it's just because you have not we a lot of time on, on to go north. for the first, yeah. Yeah. It's not a lot of time at all. Yeah. Well, I wanna I wanna break open my expansion and then probably get moving mm -hmm. here pretty yeah, soon. Here. Guess once Kerrigan <coughs> Kerrigan's out we'll be free to go. Mm -hmm. Relying on Kerrigan. Every and time, man. Uh, pretty, she's pretty, pretty strong. Good. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty good. We need more minerals. We require more minerals. Make some marines to get started here and transition into those Vikings. Yeah. We could just go straight into vultures and then Vikings and siege tanks and just ignore it's true. marines entirely. Just build the barracks and float it around the map. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel that with Raynor, he... your units with psionic disruptors. As long as one of you remains close to a priming conduit when it transfers energy, your units will attempt to disrupt it. Interesting. Okay. Uh, do you want to start moving to... Oh, there she is. Yeah, I'm going to okay. just A-click over there. Yeah, you go first. <laughs> I'll stay behind her. How about that? Yeah. What is it already? It's a nice I feel to this map. Yeah, it's got, it seems so far like it's got some good An flow to it. 
So pretty, I mean, again, first objective shouldn't be super hugely defended. It doesn't seem like it is, which is good. Nice. So how long does it take to... So do we just need to be by it for when the you timer goes up? Because that's so what I'm timing. understanding. I think so. Uh, probably. We can start pushing out. We still have a minute left. So what was that whole spiel about if your units are close to it, they'll we'll gain a buff? Oh, we do gain. Did you see that? As you walk by, your units gain some sort of... Oh, the side. Yeah. Buff. I'm not sure what that is indicating, but I do see it. doesn't show up on the, uh, the map. Interesting. But again, are we are we in range to stop whatever is about to happen with this thing? I think so. We saw oh, no, see, it says destroy the void emitter. Oh. How do we destroy it? I think it's... Oh, no, never mind. Once it starts it's, finishes priming, then we can destroy it. I think so. I think so. <laughs> okay, there's also some sort of attack coming to our base. Yes. Coming. Oh, God. Quickly, move your units away from the okay. conduit. An ally unit has left the conduit. Uh, I, told I us, see. You told us to leave. <laughs> yeah, I think I think we have to wait for this to happen. Uh -huh. Yeah, wait for yeah. Now now we go back in. That's that's neat though. You have to pay attention to your units. You can't just let that happen. I think. Yeah. Interesting. I like it. All right, star ports, let's go. Our forces One lion. Attacked. How are we looking? Disrupted. Right, we've yes. done it. Yeah. Boldly. What is this? Void emitter activating. And that's the one in the middle. A successful disruption. Weapon systems are beginning to degrade, commanders. Continue your efforts until it lies a metal husk. Okay. So yeah, we have to move to the points, hold the points. Okay. Uh, and they're separated from each other, so I think this so is encouraging. But uh, have to separate. Uh, you're already heading that way, so I guess I'll go this yes. way. Okay. Cycle. You must both either work together or separate to secure each. Hyperion's inbound. Yes. It's interesting. The, the defenses are fairly spread out. I like it. It's not just like. Here, blast through this enormous ball of enemy units. Yeah. <laughs> and theoretically, it's going to get bombarded anyway, so. <laughs> Not enough minerals. There we go. Explain your queen. Wait, what map does Void Thrashing take place on? Is that Shakuris? I mean, in the campaign, it is. I'm so confused. Void Thrash, I, I thought that was on Core Hall. Huh? Well, that's Rifts to Core Hall. Flink's filth upon your forces. Flink's filth. <laughs> oh, so there's. Ah, so it does different things. Okay. So it does. So in that. In this time, it wasn't around the whole conduit. It was just. It was just near a couple. Mm -hmm. Um, It was just like a small area. It wasn't around the whole thing. Some Viking Banshee action. Make it quick. So we still have we have two minutes, oh, and we just have, yeah, we have to be ready to take it out when we have plenty of time. We are on normal. Feels appropriate for a normal difficulty. Honestly, mm -hmm. it's not overboard. The concept is simple yet intriguing and not different. Yes. All important things. I like it. Yes, me too. I, am the I think I I saw some folks mentioning how this was a a good entry, and it seems like. Mm -hmm. That is the case. The conduits are minutes away from powering the void emitter, commanders. I advise you venture out now to secure them. I like this guy. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't had too many Protoss commanders. We've had a lot of Terran commanders. I mean, mm -hmm. obviously, you know, Terran's going to be a little easier to easier voice to voice. Out. Yeah. Okay. The beast expels liquid death upon a conduit. Hold position. <laughs> Ah, see, that one did the whole circle around. For me, it was only a small okay. area. And I like you can see you can see this barrage on the mini map. That's neat. Yeah, yeah. And that makes it a little like you have to pay a little attention, but it's not overboard. Like you should, no. it should never, in my opinion, be like a 
a mutation, and it's not. It's well, it just wipes out your quick. your forces. Yeah, it's just like oh, you weren't looking. Quickly. Fuck you. You know, in this case, it's it's very mild. Like hey, it's a big circle. Avoid it because it's on the main objective. It's not like oh god, avoid this all the time. Everything's exactly. terrible. <laughs> Yeah, again, like it shouldn't be like That's a mutation. Not. It should just be a pretty standard difficulty. Interestingly enough, the your Omega networks appear to be my color. Are they neutral for you? No. Attack incoming. Huh, that's weird. Maybe they that was changed in the patch to show that both units the your forces and my forces can use them? I don't know. Possibly. Okay, one minute left and there's enemy attacks. So I think the triangles hold fast. They seek to halt your efforts. So I think the triangles go for the objectives, and the yes. squares, or diamonds rather, maybe go for our base? I can use a call down in either case. Yeah, I have a minute network. Network. Okay, so there's circles. Just avoid those. Oh, you, you got it. Oops, yeah, I wasn't even looking. Okay, I'll use Banshees uh, on them. On the base. Okay, so you got, you'll defend. Yeah, there's only four Zerglings. Again, we are on normal, but even for normal, that's a pretty small attack, so I think that those are just meant to sort of distract you and not be right. absurd from every direction, you know? I've stated before, I, I do quite like, I like smaller attacks. I like smaller attacks that are more frequent, as long as they're not, you know, huge. Uh huh. Conduit is contested. You really have to pay attention to the timer to make sure your units are. Yeah. You just have to be there. <laughs> you don't have to kill it. You just have to be, be in that location. Okay. I got mine. It actually it changed to contested for a moment. Yeah. Same as. Same here. So that yeah, it kind of comes down to the wire there, I suppose. Now let's see where the next, the next one is. It's a nice looking map as well. Mm -hmm. You know, I was thinking about this. How many of the maps that were played already are going to show up on the top 10? And we've played some good ones, and to be yeah. honest, we've played most of them. Mm -hmm. We've played at least two thirds of all the entries. And also, another thing to consider is. At the southeastern edge of Void Emitter, transferring its control to the Spear of Elune would be beneficial. However, it is enraptured with a dangerous biological anomaly. Many lives may be lost in the endeavor. Well, I okay. say we, we go for it. Yeah, yeah. The one in the middle's been secured. Okay. I've come this. Your queen. Our forces have met the enemy in combat. I guess let's go for the bonus. Yeah. So I was saying that. A lot of these that we played pretty early on have been updated, so even if we played them already, I mean, they're going to be oh, I see what you're saying. pretty fresh okay. and new, new to play. Yeah, I wonder if any that we played that weren't, they weren't really prepared yet when we played them are going to turn out to be in the top 10 and you know, completely changed and better. Yeah, we may not have enjoyed it as much, but maybe it's been updated to the point that it will be in the top 10. Yep. I hope so. so. That so would be there's, cool. There's three of these things. Yes. So, so we're going to have to split. One, yes. At least one of us is going to have to split some units. Um, I guess let's just go for the bonus. Well, none of our so this, as long as you clear out the Zerg, they will... Um, they will start shooting those things at you. Uh -huh. Is this doing damage to us in an AoE? Mine like around Weaver. this thing? It's shooting infested eggs out. Infested Terrans. I don't know. There we go. Nice. Okay. Excellent. We've got linking the matrix to the psionic All the disintegrator array should be online shortly. I'll send Kerrigan to one. I think she can hold out one by herself. Okay, I can split units as well. Okay, I'll send Kerrigan up here. The rest of my units, I'll start clearing out this one down here. An interesting thing I noticed, your Nidus Worms, they count as as holding possession. Really? Yes. Okay. See Good that one know. in the middle? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's counting. 
Um. Inbound to a conduit. Evacuate any units in the area. Kerrigan, evacuate. <laughs> no, Kerrigan. So, I'm usually against. Uh, I'm usually against the the enemy rebuilding, but in this case, it makes sense that they rebuild and try to reinforce the conduits, and not in huge. It's just to make sure that you keep some units there. It's not hmm. to be obnoxious. <laughs> not that I ever think it purposefully to be obnoxious, but a lot of times that's just the result of it. Okay. Well, I'll let you take that one. Okay. I'll hold on to this one. Do you need me to split units anywhere? I can give you banshees in the middle. There are a lot. There's a lot going on on the mini map, though. Mm -hmm. I think maybe a lot of validate some of those units because they're just like all yeah, over. Yeah. Also, I don't know the difference between the triangle pings and the diamond shape pings. Yeah, I got the impression that the triangles are reactive. Okay, wait, eight seconds. But yeah, I got the impression that the triangles are reactive to. Uh, there we go. Nice. Got them. To retake the uh, things. Why is the screen blue? It's been <laughs> that a couple times. It happens after we uh, disrupt them. Yeah, because so I think it's the it's the center conduit taking damage, perhaps. Whoop! Look out! I almost ran right into that. It kind of. I I like this. It you definitely have to watch your army as you move along. Something yes, but again, not. Not, Not in a way a such that you're definitely going to lose and fuck it up. <laughs> yeah, you don't lose your entire army. As, like, if, for example, the Evolution nuclear bombardment mutation. Yeah, it's, it's, the, the consequences are fairly minimal, I, as far as I can tell. Granted, we haven't stood in it, so I don't know what the consequences really are. But it seems like it wouldn't be the worst thing. Too bad, yeah. I like that, it's different. We don't, I don't think we have a... Blizzard co-op map that kind of you have random things going on throughout the map that can damage your army as you move from one base to the next. Yeah, but again, importantly, it's not it's not just like an awful you're fucked if you get hit exactly. by it yeah. once kind of thing. I think it's a very important distinction. <laughs> um, so haven't we already held on to this one? Seems like I wonder like they repeat. I wonder if it's randomized. You know what? I'm going to keep some units over here. I want to see what happens. Okay. It's Hellfire. Maybe it only does... Uh, see, it's, it's minimal damage. That's not bad. We are on normal, and that's something that you could scale. But again, the important thing is it's... There's a consequence, but it's not like a fucking mutator consequence <laughs> where, you know, you so have to really, really be... You know, there has to be a low skill floor mm -hmm. for for the basic vanilla maps, and then you can apply mutators to that later. I guess I'll just keep my units up here if you want to keep pushing that way. How much time? And this yeah, a minute and a half. A interestingly enough, this this map is it feels large. It, it doesn't have a very natural flow to it, but I haven't felt like I've been frantically running around the map, which is typically my big complaint. Yeah, I'm sure I'm brutal. This would be much more difficult, obviously. Mm -hmm. But I think he, he probably has scaled down the attacks since there are multiple yeah. of them, and they go in almost seemingly random directions. Make it quick. So he seems like he's scaled down the size. A large host of Zerg are set to assail your forces at the conduit, commanders. Act in unison to hold your position. Nice. The behemoth fires upon your forces. Evacuate Let's see how much damage this does. Sorry, Hydralis. You're the sacrificial lamb. <laughs> <laughs> see, not that yeah, much. See, it's, yeah, see, yeah. it's... I would almost argue, even on normal, you could bump that up a little yeah. bit. It doesn't have to one-hit units, but you could bump it up a little bit. Take, like, I don't know, you could have it do, like, I don't know, at least 50 damage. <laughs> Explain yourself. Now, that would kill Marines and stuff. Okay, so for the smaller ones, yes. I think for the big circle ones, don't make it so that it can one-hit armies. So less than enough to kill Zagara's units, I think. Maybe that's, you know, being too kind. I agree, you know. 
Co-op can be a little too easy sometimes, but from a, just a vanilla map perspective, you know, again, low skill floor, but new ideas. And this is certainly new with that. Almost crippled it. Let not your resolve falter, Commanders. The Void Emitter seems to fracture before unleashing its wrath. So can we not lose at this point? I don't know. I guess if we lose literally five in a row. Yes. We could probably lose all four of these. Yeah. Uh, I'll go to the bottom right. Okay, I'll go... I'll take these out. And also... Yes. The Hive Cluster is under attack. I don't know, I, I really like this map. I think it has a lot of good, thing, good things going for it. Yeah. I was thinking, like, it has a lot of potential, but not even that. Like, it's just good. Uh -huh. Like, it doesn't really need to be built upon. I like nearly everything about it. It doesn't feel... Um, it doesn't feel gimmicky, per se. Um, it just feels like a solidly put-together entry. I like it a lot. I like when you, when you take the conduits. There's, like, a flashing green... Um, your screen shakes, it turns green. To let let you know that you've taken it. Yeah. It's a nice you've visual indication. Um, so, should we split here? I think we should split. Yeah. I'll take my air force and go to the bottom left. Uh, just leave Kerrigan here. My search continues. I can send some forces down here to help you take yeah, that to the middle. Mm -hmm. And then I'll leave some forces, forces here. Are under attack. And I just have a Nidus network at each one. And I never thought I'd say it, but this this is an instance where I think the enemy rebuilding is perfectly fine. It makes complete sense to me. Mm -hmm. And also I like that you don't need both players to, to, to take the conduits. Yeah, that would be a little too much, I think, for this. Get them, fire bats. I gotta get these their inferno gauntlets. What am I been thinking? They're probably remiss without those. You guys come down here. The timer, I mean, there's a timer so that it can't go to absurd lengths. You are, you are gated on the amount of time that could be taken. Yep. Oh, lots of stuff. Detected. Yeah, this is a lot. should be the Let's last wave. There's a hybrid in the upper right, be careful. Okay, so it looks like a dominator coming from every direction. That's kind of an interesting, like, whoop! <laughs> like, you thought make it was... Sure, make sure this you're, you're split now up. it's really hard at the end. Not super hard, you know, it's not like a hybrid dominator is the worst thing, but compared to how relatively easy the rest of the map was, that's kind of a big, a little bit of a spike. Not a big deal, though. Kerrigan is amazing for this. I mean, as well as Rainer, you can drop down on each, each location. Yeah, and I mean, Artanis can warp in on top of them too, right. so... Our are under the Omega Worms are, are nice. Yeah. It's one little blue board over here. The conduit has been stalled. Gather your units and hold the area at all costs. Still have five more. Um... Where does it say that? No, what happened? No, seven out of twelve. Oh, I see. Okay. So I thought it was. I thought. Okay, so we have to officially finish twelve of them. Yeah. Or so we have. Use, or, okay. We have one left. Oh, another round. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. That might. This might be breaching into slightly too long territory. I think the map could could have honestly ended there. At the last part. Yeah. Okay. Oh, see, now there's only three. And we only have to get one. Okay. Well, we I see. Yeah, so it's, it, there's some give there. Right. It, it's it's five rounds, though, total. And again, it's it, that can be time-consuming. We have two minutes left on the map. Yeah, not a lot of time. Brace yourselves. After Enemy each. forces are inbound. I mean, at this point, though, we've theoretically already cleared the map, right? So it does, you know, it just makes sure that you split, you're right. splitting your forces properly. And they are re locking rebuilding them down. a little bit, like you said, but not... Not yeah, nothing a, crazy. Horrible extent. Think I'll call down the hot period. Evolution. Complete. Not like in some of Havendel's perfect soldiers. Yeah. <laughs> the enemy has tech reactors. They just. 
spam those units the out. Map, yeah. That's just map, that's just uh, basic AI. Yeah. I've learned that it's not it, map makers don't do that on purpose. I mean, some of them might leave it that way on purpose, but it, that's just the default. If you set it to like hard AI, there everything's yeah. programmed to rebuild at least twice. Yeah, the amount of just unlimited. In all, the all clear mission. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> it's nuts. Pretty sure we got right. this under control here. I think so too. Too hybrid. Presses his attack. Too hybrid from the top. The brood mobilizes to contest the condo bottom. Okay, now it's um, behemoths. We have my attention. Would you yes. like me to come? Uh, are they both going to come to this one? I think Kerrigan, she's, she's got it. <laughs> yeah, I'll do this too. Oh, that's a large, pretty large thing. Yeah. I mean... Ultimately... Yeah, and then there's the bombardment too. Mm -hmm. See, that's a nice little touch. Again, it's not going to kill you, but you just... You're aware of it when an enemy attack is happening. Exactly. Interesting that you got two, two behemoths on the right, two behemoths in the center, but none on this side. So. Mm -hmm. Our allies are in combat. Yeah, and the small Zerg reinforcements are, are there mostly just to. I'm gonna watch and see if it blows up. Mostly just to make sure you leave some units there. You can't clear it out and leave. You gotta leave some stuff. Right. Okay, it was crippled. All I want to say is that's a <laughs> cop off for having that thing blow up spectacularly. <laughs> we were waiting <laughs> for it. Want to see it explode? We are, had our popcorn. We we're just yeah, waiting in anticipation. I was ready. That was a great map. Yeah, great map. I, I, awesome, awesome job. Yeah, good execution. Uh, good idea. Uh, both, I think, got, had both covered there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, overall, very well done. Mm -hmm. Good terraining. I don't. I don't even have much more to say. I yeah, think it was think a very covered. pleasant entry. <laughs> and most importantly, we won. <laughs> Yes, we did. It w it didn't feel over the top, and you know, say what you want. I, say, I, I mentioned this before, but say what you want about co-op difficulty. But there's a level of consistency that's good to be maintained amongst the existing entries or the existing maps and submitted maps here. So they're they're most likely going to pick one that they can scale to something similar to what already exists. Exactly. And this one hit it, I'd say. Yep. Cool. All right. Thanks everyone for joining us. We'll see you next time. All right. See you guys.